What's good, y'all? Matthew 6.33. Bet. What's good, YouTube family? We back, of course, for another dollar devotional. This is number 15 in our series already, y'all. Praise God. And just like the intro said, we read now to Matthew 6, verse 33. So without any further ado, let's do. All right, y'all. And the word says, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. So pretty straightforward here in Matthew today and how we relate this to everyday life, how I relate this to everyday life would be to look at it like this. So if you look to God for whatever you're looking for, you're not only going to receive his kingdom, his righteousness, his mercy, his grace, all those great things, but you're going to find exactly what you're looking for. We get caught up in how things look or how things feel or how things seem or how things we want them to be. But a lot of times we don't have the right insight to really even know. What do I mean? If we're made in God's image, right? And everything we do is supposed to be a reflection of him. But let's say we don't seek him out in our life. Let's say that we don't actively go to God. Let's say that we don't actively feel that intention in our heart to be closer to him. Well, how are we going to know his image? If we don't know his image, how are we supposed to reflect that image? If we don't know his image, we can't reflect his image. Well, then how is it that we're looking at God if we don't even know what we're looking at? Or if we see it, we don't even know how to recognize it. See, this is why Matthew's telling us we need to seek first him and his kingdom and his righteousness. And when we seek all of those things out, we receive all of those things because it becomes a much less. OK, God, I'm going to pray to you and you're going to answer my prayers. And hopefully everything goes exactly the way I want it, the way I need it, the way it has to be, the way I see it, the way I project it into this future, because if it doesn't, I'm going to die. It's going to kill me, God, if it doesn't work like that. No, don't do that. This is another verse on patience. This is another verse on faith. This is another verse on belief. And we've already kind of circled these blocks many a times, but we're going to keep circling them because repetition is the mother of skill. Repetition is the mother of mastery. So we have to keep doing this and keep reviewing this to make sure we get it right. And again, a simple line packs so much power in the word because you could really just break down so many parts. He says these things will be given to you. So it's like the harder you look for him, the less you have to work for what you want. That's what he's saying. That's what he's trying to tell us is stop working hard, harder or on the hardest difficulty level. You don't have to do that. Work smarter. You know, see God, let God handle the anxiety. Let God handle the stress. Let God handle the fear. You know, you handle the faith. God will handle the fear and he got it. You don't have to worry about that. He's been here. He knows all of us. He created all of us for this life. He created you for this life, for you to be here in this moment. Rejoice, be glad, be thankful, seek God and the rest of everything you want will be given to you. It's that simple. And seek God everywhere in yourself, in your friends, in your family, in your lovers, in your co-workers, in your food, in the air, in the sun, in the rain. Seek him everywhere and you'll be given everything that you want, y'all. And stay prayed up. Speaking of which, shall we? Dear God in heaven, thank you again for bringing us to another Tuesday, Lord. We are so thankful. We are so thoughtful. We are so blessed, God, and we recognize this, Lord. And we ask, I ask, God, as the night stretches across the sky, Lord, with the stars scattered all over and the moon following while the sun rests for another bright day tomorrow, God, for those of us who may have trouble sleeping, for those of us who have a lot on our brain, a lot on our heart, God, that may allow that anxiety or that fear or that lack of belief to creep in lord i'm asking you right now god to strip those fears away lord provide that extra comfort lord and cover us with your mighty hand lord and just help us through these difficult times god because no matter if we see it 
or not, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel, at the beginning of the tunnel and in the tunnel, Lord. And that light is yours, God. It's not always the sunlight. It's not always the light from a fluorescent bulb, God. But we know that it's your light and we follow your light, Lord, and we seek your light, God. And that's the light that we're looking for, Lord. And I ask that you provide that light to those of us in these dark times right now god so much going on all over the world so many fears and so many what ifs and so many questions and so many mandates and so many this and so many that they're pulling us each and every way lord our hearts our souls our emotional strings they are pulling them god but we ask that you pull us closer lord we ask that you extend that mighty cloth lord that you extend that omnipresence god and you continue to just permeate our lives lord and never leave god and just continue to give us the way lord please be in our intentions god please be in our instincts lord please be in each one of these individuals lord with their heads bowed and their eyes closed right now listening to every word god i ask this in all of your heavenly name lord and your grace and your glory god i love you so much lord and i will talk to you soon i hope you're having a wonderful night amen I think y'all.